Beaver 500, and tonight is Beer Night! Thank you so much for joining us on this special episode of Beer Night with Rich. It's a special episode because Super Gamer 500 it's is is my, my it's in my I'm a minor so I can't drink real beer. That's right. He this is a non-alcoholic episode. Uh, this gamer is my nephew, and we're going to be reviewing IBC root beer. That's right, IBC root beer. So um, it was traditionally made in St. Louis, Missouri. Um, it was popular. It was popular when drinking wasn't allowed. What was that called? Prohibition. That's right. Yay! I'm smart. <laughs> that was not a fun time, by the way. Prohibition. Yeah. Nobody yeah. liked it. Yeah, everybody likes drinking. And then um, the sassafras plant was originally used to make any root beer at all, not this specific type. Um, and uh, Native Americans used the sassafras plant. And this is actually not served in Canada. Well, it, it may be, but there's very few of this in Canada. So if you're from Canada and you're watching this, take a trip to America because this is good. That's right. That's right. So uh, thanks for the history on that. Could you go ahead and give us a little pour here? Yeah. Pour us. Let's see what this. Let's I'm see not, what this root beer looks like. I'm not good at pouring, but I'll try my sure best. Sure you are. Sure you there are. There we go. There you go. Thank you. Wow, so this, it's a very, very dark color. Mm -hmm. Very dark color. What? Nice foam, though. I like that. Yeah, nice foam. What color would you call that? Is that like a... Well, I'm colorblind. I would call it like a tangerine. A t <laughs> tangerine color foam? Yeah. <laughs> I'm colorblind. I don't know my color. Well, yeah, it looks kind of brownish to me. So, yeah. Let's go. What do you think it smells like? Um, It's very sweet. I can definitely detect that. Um, yeah? It sort of has a little creaminess to it. Like... <laughs> it looks a little creamy? Yeah. Yeah, um... I smell a little, little bit of ginger. Obviously, it smells a lot like root beer. Yeah. To me, just yeah. Root beer smells like root beer. That's that's kind of weird. I know. But um. But I've never smelled a sassafras plant before, so I don't really know what that yeah. smells like all on its own. So um, this particular root beer is known for citrus, creaminess, and lots of sweetness. This is super bad for you. That's why I love it. <laughs> so. Um. Uh, how much sugar is in this thing, I by the way? I don't really know. Let's see if it says here. Uh. 40 grams of sugar in one bottle. So, yeah, this is probably on the hit list for all the people yeah. that want to be healthy. Probably not something that you're going to drink if you're on a diet, right? Yeah. So. Even if I was on a diet, I'd drink this because this is good. This is good stuff. <laughs> well, all right. Well, cheers. Let's taste this yeah, thing, huh? Let's, let's, let's see if we taste those flavors you're talking about. Lots of carbonation. It's very carbonated. It is very carbonated, yeah, and it is very sweet also. Yeah, yeah, I kind of like that sweetness actually. Yeah, do you taste the creaminess? Yeah, I, I definitely do. It's like half made of milk. Like this looks like coffee. Basically. It does if look you like coffee. Yeah. The coffee, you would be if you remove the foam, you'd be like, this is coffee. Yeah, it does. Yeah, and it, it is. It, I agree. I agree that it's creamy. What about the citrus? Do you taste citrus? Um, not really. I don't know. Have my taste buds not fully gr grown? Do you no. Taste some citrus? No, I don't. I actually don't taste any citrus in it. So maybe it's in the bottle. Maybe if we like eat some of the glass from the bottle, that, that would be citrusy. Yeah. yeah. That's probably not a good idea. <laughs> probably not. Probably. But no, it's 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 really good. It's it's great. It's uh, I mean, I was I would, I always think of IBC as being like one of just the classic root beers. But it's of like history, very you know? different because root beers are usually not like overly sweet. That's why people put ice cream in it to make root beer floats. So, I mean, this is kind of like, if you put ice cream in it, that'd be overkill. Like, you would die. Extra, because that'd be extra sweetness? Yeah, because yeah. like, this is like a root beer float all <coughs> in itself. Yeah, it's plenty sweet, creamy. It's got the classic root beer flavor to it. If you like root beer, I'm sure this is probably yeah. one of your top go-tos. But if you, if you live in Canada, I feel bad for you, man. <laughs> So do you want to ask the trivia question that we have for those root beer drinkers out there? Yes, our trivia question is... Um, name some in, um, types of root beer, common types of root beer. Just, that's it. Like other flavors you yeah. mean of root beer. And if you want to go the extra mile, go ahead and subscribe to Super Gamer 500 if you want to go that extra mile because then he will love you. Because so. he has a really cool YouTube channel. Yeah. What, well, what are some of the things you do on your YouTube channel? So, so I, my I viewers know. I do gaming. Um, I do a lot of gaming. The first couple videos, the Lemon Marvel Superheroes one, um, sound quality isn't very good, but I start getting closer and start shouting. So it works. Um, I also do other stuff than gaming. Um, I make time lapses of cool stuff, like me coloring and stuff, me and my friends coloring. I did make a 
um, if you know of the song Heathens from the new Suicide Squad movie, I made a parody of that about Donald Trump. Oh. If you like or support him in any way, I, I'm not picking sides here. It's just something fun, okay? It's a parody. Please don't be offended. But it does say he's dumb, so there's that. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Super Gamer 500, thank you so much for joining me on my show about beer. Yep. I appreciate it. I, I think some of my viewers will probably check out your YouTube channel and hopefully subscribe. When I'm older, I promise I'll join you and drink real beer. A real beer? All right. Yeah. How many more years do we have until until you're 21? Well, I'm, how old I'm are not going to say, now? I'm not gonna say that when I do it on your show, it's going to be legal. I'm just saying, I'm going to well, wait a little. Well, this is a legal show here. Everything we do here has got to be, you know, by the book. Sorry. You make me sad. Sorry. Well, how old are you? Let's see how many more years you have to go. Uh, I have 10. 10 more years. I'm so you're 11? Okay, so hopefully I'll still be doing this 10 years from now. Maybe that by then you'll actually have triple digits. And I'll actually, perhaps. And I'll actually know what I'm talking about when I review beer, right? Yeah. So, um... Okay, cool, man. Well, thank you, uh, thank you so much, and thank you so much to my viewers for watching this special episode with Super Gaming 500 about root beer. I see root beer. Yep. All right. Good night. Say good night. Yeah. Good night. Good night. We're doing the point thing. Cheers. 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 This is really good.